Oh. Oh, yeah. So, something I haven't done in a long while really this morning. A good old fashioned sunrise hike. Let's crack on. So it's one of them this morning where you get out of the car and it's freezing. As soon as you start walking, you know, with the down jacket and the hat, the long johns, it gets red hot very quickly. So might be a bit of de-layering coming on. Now, quickly, before we get into anything this morning, a huge thank you to Valerie Photography Gloves for their continued support um, of my channel and of my work in sponsoring this video. An absolute honor to be associated with this company. Sitting about minus three today, hiking up a fell, and I would not be seen dead without these bad boys on. <laughs> these are my Ipe suits. Um, Valerie, fantastic photography gloves. They're made for outdoor photography. So you see they've got these little finger caps here that flip back. So we've got full dexterity, full use of our camera. If you want to get your own pair, head over to photographygloves.com and be sure to use the code Henry at checkout. You get yourself free shipping and you help me out in the process. Top draw. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, it's going to be about a two hour hike up to the summit of the fell where I want to go today. And of course the main event really is going to be that sunrise light, uh, absolutely buzzing. So I've kind of planned it a little bit in a way where at the summit of this particular fell, oh, it's a bit gusty. At the summit of this particular fell, we're going to get some gorgeous side light. We've got a couple of tarns up there for sort of foreground interest. I'm really looking for them sort of wide vista views today, you know. Um, and just fingers crossed, hopefully the light plays ball. That's kind of the main thing, but it's looking pretty clear. So, like I said, a good hour and a half still to go. Let's crack on. You open the sky, I'll carry you home. home to the oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the chant at the top of the mountain, there's gonna be snow. <laughs> We're up. We are up, guys. It's a ten out of ten. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Um. So we have got snow and it's like, uh, what would you say? It's like a nice amount of snow. It's enough that we're gonna get some cracking photographs. I am anticipating something special this morning. Let me just put it that way. But of course, trying not to get the expectations too high, but the hopes are high. Um, yeah, so really nice amount of snow in that we're gonna get some nice photographs, fingers crossed, but it's not like dodgy up here. I've got my crampons with me um, because I could see the fells from my front window and there was snow on them. Um, oh man, we've got a glow. <laughs> and then I'll just spin you around a bit. It's pitch black still, but down there somewhere is the tarn that I wanna photograph. The sun's gonna come up here and just, you know, again, fingers crossed, nothing's guaranteed here, but it's gonna paint these fells, these snow topped fells some side light. Um, it's pretty windy as you may be able to tell so what I'm going to try and do is find somewhere where I can get the view back to the tarn and some of the distant fells um, but try and be a little bit sheltered as well so that's my challenge. Whoa. Chat to you in a bit. If you can't tell guys it's a little bit gusty here. Oh man, we are living life this morning. <sighs> Straight out the top drawer. So, the Canada hat is upside down. Apologies to any Canadians watching. You know I love yous. It's just a bit all over the place. <sighs> so, as you may be able to tell, the light, uh, the sun has still not risen. We still haven't got any light on the land. That's if you can even hear me at the minute. Um, but we're getting some beautiful views. Let me just show you. 
look at that, back towards the summit of this particular fell. Um, so I'm set up. Obviously this is very difficult just with the wind. Um, that, that's the only difficulty really because light-wise, sunrise-wise, you know, dawn-wise, the conditions are beautiful. Uh, believe it or not, we're getting a lull in these gusts every now and again, so that's kind of what I'm waiting for to grab the shot because it's still fairly dark. I need, what's my shutter speed? One sixth of a second, so I need to make sure that my camera's not shaking all over the shop, you know. Um, so I've got the, the wide angle lens on the front and we're looking back towards the summit of this fell, but I've got a lot of these, these kind of little mini snow drifts in the foreground, which is beautiful. We're getting these little patterns, um, these lines actually as well, that are leading us up to the summit. And then off in the background, there's, what a dramatic sky. It is beautiful and we're looking back towards the east. I'm gonna to have to get up. I've got a cold bottom. Um, we're looking back towards the east when the sun is rising and we're getting some of those beautiful colors. Look, snow all over the shop. Um, so yeah, F9, one six of a second and ISO 100. Hopefully I can get a, uh, enough of a lull in the winds to grab this shot because I think it's gonna be lovely. And uh, now we're just waiting for the light. I hope you like this one. <laughs> Guys, I've just been crying. <sighs> Mate, Whoa, I don't even know what to say. Every single day of my life I wake up and it's mornings like these that I dream of. I think about it every single day. This is why my heart beats. Oh, I'm shivering from just excitement and joy. Hank, it is a bit chilly. Right, so we had the drama back up towards the summit the wind has been like proper I mean like proper high it's started to die down a little bit now so I'm hoping you can hear me a bit as well looking back towards our town down here let me try and explain this to you if you look there right there's like cloud then a gap and then there's cloud again so we only had a window morning you're right yeah, and you said, <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> we only had a window of honestly two minutes at best where we had the light hitting, oh, hitting this area here. It was unreal. So, fortunately, I still had the 11 to 16 millimeter lens on. I was down here, I was, I was, I was grappling with the tripod and the camera. I can't believe how quickly that wind just disappeared. What a treat. Um, and honestly, it just, it was glowing red. I'll show you some B-roll now. Absolutely blew my mind and the camera had to go down and I had a moment, the tears came out. Unreal. So hopefully I've got that shot and I really want to say like, I'm sorry. I wish I could show it to you. I wish it could be more polished, but it was just so windy and so fast. And so many times, you know, if you watch my channel a lot, you've seen times that I've missed photographs because of like trying to film it and I needed to get these shots. I needed to get that one shot at least. Um, in terms of the photograph anyway, what I was trying to do at the start, quite similar to the, the first shot where we were looking back towards the fell, I was trying to use some of these snow drifts in the foreground and I very quickly realized, no, no need to mess about the shot is the wide vista that's just behind me um simple that's it get the tarn in the bottom right hand third i've excluded a lot of this over here where we've got the the lake here and some towns because it was just messy what i wanted was the wild feel the desolate feel of this side of the fells with the snow so i kind of cut the image off there and it's a nice wide vista and we've got these mountains leading us around it's nice because these mountains kind of horseshoe around the tarn down there and then with the light the light was just filling that horseshoe it's like a big like a big bowl Ugh, mad to do a cleansman on the side of the mountain Ugh, living the dream right 
there'll be no I, I'm gonna do like a bit of a loop walk back around ugh, over there somewhere sorry I'm spinning you about all over the shop and um, see if we can get something else because I'd like to get one more shot especially since we've got the snow maybe with the telephoto lens or something like that but this is the shot that I came up for I'm absolutely buzzing to show it to you <sighs> fingers crossed I captured it correctly <laughs> Chat to you in a bit. Cheers, Matt! Oh, so, still pretty windy. I've got a little bit of shelter here, but uh, I think I'm gonna take another shot. You can probably see behind me, the view's amazing. Down to this, this is a completely different town. Um, just down here, somewhere, we've got some uh, rocks. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of the, the glitters in Snowdonia, actually. Um, and I'm just using them, you know, they're really jagged, leading and pointing in the direction of that tarn and then of course this fell that surrounds it quite similar to the the last shot really you know it's like a horseshoe we haven't got the light is my back going to blow off this mountain here we haven't got the light but it's just a beautiful vista i think it's working so crisps bit of a chill out and then we'll get the camera out and see what we can do We're set up. Ah, I'll tell you what guys, we've been lucky again. Um, light, we've had light down in this little valley here, down towards the tarn. There's the camera, wide angle lenses on still. And uh, it's just suiting this scene, you know, we're getting these rocks, these jagged rocks down in the foreground here that are pointing us, leading us out into this. Ah. And it's another horseshoe, it's amazing. Like when you look at it, the image on the back of the camera, it's like, the snow starts at the very left hand side of the frame and it bends all the way around this, this horseshoe. Almost comes all the way back on itself. It's almost a, a full, full circle, you know. I have to say again, we've been looking with the light and I think it's the light that's gonna be making this shot. I think it'd be pretty nice anyway because the vista's so amazing. This is the sort of day, guys, you know, even if you don't get the light, as a landscape photographer, you will have made so much effort to get up somewhere like this. You know, when we've got a bit of snow and things like that, you're gonna get the vistas. And this is where you can almost give yourself that, um, that ticket to say, yeah, I'm sticking the wide angle lens on and I'm capturing some of these vistas. Of course, we're still thinking about composition a little bit. That's what these fells are made for, aren't they? These vista shots. Um, so, a little bit easier to, to photograph because of the wind, although it's still quite blustery here. And uh, yeah, the light just starts spilling into this valley. And I quickly grabbed a couple of shots. Um, much quicker shutter speed because it's a bit brighter now. So I'm more confident that these are gonna, gonna be nice and sharp. I don't have a clue what them first ones are gonna be like. But yeah, it's all about the vista. The tarn and the rocks are giving us some gorgeous interest. Of course, the snow, I'll tell you what's class. We're looking back out to Morecambe Bay and somewhere in this photograph will be my house. <laughs> it will probably be like one tiny little pixel, if that, somewhere, but it will be there and that is kind of cool. Um, so, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to call it a day because of the wind. Um, I would definitely stay out a lot longer, but it's just so windy. And uh, honestly, my gear keeps falling over. Something will get broken if I carry on. 
But I tell you what, it's been a heck of a morning, hasn't it? It has been worth that 420 alarm. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy this final shot. Remember, go and check out the Valerie gloves. Link in the description below. And yes, I shall see you on the next adventure. Comment below. Out. Mm -hmm. <laughs>